so it's been one month since my dad passed away. It's been hard, and one of the things that I've been missing most was when my dad first got diagnosed. He talked to Jay and I, and he, in the mornings he was just like, "Guys, do you mind if we start every day with a hug?" No, you know, and that was something that I'm really missing right now. I wish that you know we could have one more hug. It sucks. Want a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, oh, dog. I miss him, man. Me too. And a lot of times it doesn't even feel real, to be honest with you. I know. Pretty much until the last two weeks where my dad got put into hospice, I was like in denial or a little bit of hope, really. That like, oh, okay, there's gonna be some sort of like miracle. There's gonna be some like he's got this. Like I don't, I didn't let it sink in that like maybe he would pass away. I don't have any regrets. Per se, but it's just as I think I still have a bit of that like denial, and I'm still working through that emotion of like he's gonna pull through, like whatever. But like it's not even possible anymore. It's a very weird emotion that I'm feeling. Where like as I reiterated before, like I feel like he's still with us. I still feel like hope. And since I've been living this last year in a bit of denial of my dad's cancer and and what that could mean for me and my future family and so on it's like every day that's going by is kind of hitting harder and harder with that reality of like uh like this is life now my dad i don't have a dad anymore it's, it's weird hey mom can you take a break and uh take you across the street have some fun Okay. You want right. to go see your tree? Wait, I think we're keeping it a surprise. Oh, don't tell her? Don't tell her. Shh. So we have this really cool surprise for her. I'm excited to see what she's going to react like. Look at her. Oh, so soft. Oh, oh my. That is so soft. You guys got to try this out. <laughs> That's crazy. We were literally God, just saying I... how it's getting so rough. No. She used to be so, so soft, and now she's getting kind of... Like Drogo. Not the bear cat. Yes. Let me. Me. Stitch, you already got to go over there. Stitch, we've done so much with you. You'll be over soon. You'll have a new house too. We got you. Are we walking across the street? Uh, yeah, it's beautiful out today. A little bit of traffic. Up here on the western front. Southern is good. She's going to love this. I'm so excited. And the surprise is the tree. You guys remember in the last video, we put the tree in here. And it's for our baby girl. Oh, she's licking. That's good. Look at how adorable. Oh my god. That is so crazy. Hi, baby. I think she said yes. So, as you guys know, there's, she's going to have so many rope, other branches. There's going to be so many other things in here other than just her tree. So, although she can't reach the other side of the tree right now, once we get some cooler ropes in here for her, her hammock, she's going to be so happy. I know, but you're climbing right now. You gotta climb. <laughs> she is a homebody. She really likes to be on people, which is great. I love it, but... We gotta <laughs> teach her how to be a sloth. We gotta be a sloth, too. So it's been difficult. You know, we create videos five days a week, but we're really working six, seven days a week on the videos. And to not have my dad, which has pretty much been like the powerhouse of this channel and, and everything around here to, to bounce ideas off of and to film with, it's been extremely hard on the other side it's like we spent so much time with him where honestly i still feel like i i have his opinion in my head and i know what he would want or would say to questions that i ask and i i believe that's why i don't feel so alone <laughs> the sloth noises are just so cute man <laughs> this is so awesome she's gonna get bigger too so like yeah she may not be able to reach from branch this branch to that branch not that long she will be able to just like that that's it yeah. <laughs> Let me go back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's kind of sad. Oh my god, it's it is. Sad. We never had a baby sloth. Yeah, we've never had a baby sloth. We got this. I think it's I think she's so happy. <laughs> See? Do you love it? Are you so happy? Yeah, exactly. It's so interesting just to watch her like play and try to figure out how to maneuver around these branches. Oh, oh, there's no more stick, girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She's oh. like, I learned this from Stitch. What are you doing, the reverse dismount? <laughs> God. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so how do her hips and feet work? Does she similar to Stitch? That was some pretty crazy flexibility. So, so she doesn't have the 180 degree rotating ankles, but they have so much mobility like within their arms. They also are like super precise animals. She doesn't know where she's going. She knows exactly like I'm gonna reach out, put this claw right here, and then I'm gonna bring my next claw to it. If you watch Drogo, even in the his ceiling with the grates, like he never misses. Sure. His nails go right in. Did you know that they actually almost never fall out? And even when a sloth dies, 
eyes in a tree? Still hanging in the tree, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's exactly what we needed, and I think it's working out well. Yeah, it looks great. It really accents the building nicely. Just, it's, it's just another experience. So Dad surprises us with this shipping container. you know what's inside of it, Mom? Some stuff. I know I have to get in there because there's lights and stuff like that. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this. I want to see what's inside, though. Let's open it up. None of us could open it, so we have Dre helping us out. Did did, what did you do? Sorry, guys. Take your time. Thing is like stuck. You've gotten it yeah, ten yeah. times further got, than we did. You got way further than they did already. <laughs> we worked on it for two days, so that's fine. I mean, that is so good. I think we should put that inside the. I think that something better. Would, Ooh, add, you're gonna add to it. Nice. I like it. Okay. Some levels. Water really. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's just falling apart. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> it will never work. It will never. This is great work. mammal enrichment. Oh! I got it. <laughs> Dad must have hid some good stuff in here, man. Oh my. Zoomed? That's it? Zoomed? Skyscraper terrarium? No, there's some big box. There's gotta be something better. There is something better back there, but we need to move this out. Wait, do you know it. what it is? Yeah. What is it? Thanks, Drag. Gonna grab the forklift. He's gonna grab the pallet jack. You know, guys, this last month has been challenging and almost impossible in some days and uh, I miss my friend uh, my best friend and Brian and I did everything together for the last five years and it's hard to sometimes walk around I feel very alone and I'm so lucky that we have all of you guys to give us support but it feels empty sometimes you know I know he's here and watching us seeing all the progress we're making you know it's just making him so proud but I miss my friend I miss somebody to talk about how cool this stuff is you know it used to be brian noah myself Lori, and all these people kind of working to make this project happen but brian was the integral piece without him here you know noah Lori, and myself all have to step up and try to figure out all the things that we need to get done who's building the cabinets who's building the rails for the bridges you know is the shark tank getting done correctly all these problems that show up were things that you know brian had our help for but mostly took care of trying to do the best we can with what we know he would want coming up with ideas for videos making sure that all the projects go right making sure that all the contractors are on you know brian was a workhorse so yeah this month's been difficult i'm so honored to be able to be here to help make his dream come a reality and i can't wait to see these doors open one day hopefully sooner than later guys look at this there's a toilet seat no what yes i think the toilets are in here but what's in that right there so <laughs> hey, what is that noah bowls and toilet seats but what's that thing right in front of you i don't know i can't see there's a giant stupid thing of cardboard that's what i'm asking you noah what is that oh what i have no idea it doesn't it doesn't say anything what do you think is in here? Oh, what is this? What are those? Is that an alligator? Those are oh, teeth. Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, shark this mouth. This is the megalodon mouth. That's the megalodon mouth. It's the megalodon mouth. What if that's on the tape? What if that's I the know. pirate's head? I think that's right there. Oh, How yo. would that be? <laughs> <laughs> There's like 12 toilets and 12 toilet seats. Dude, I can oh, tell already. Is. Is. is it? Oh, yes! Pirate. Can we cut the other side? Oh my, can I oh, rip it here? Oh my god! Dad, what were you doing? Look at his face! Oh my god! That is awesome! Oh Where are we my. gonna put him? That's yet to be determined. He's actually great. He's got a really good mustache. <laughs> It looks like Bashy. <laughs> it looks like, it looks bashy. like bashy. I just sent him the picture. Bashy without the beard. That. So what's in these boxes? Toilets. Oh. So there you go, guys. We found out what's inside the shipping container. We finally found the pirate. And that is very nice. Megalodon jaws, which I can't wait till we unbox that, hang that from the ceiling or something. We should get a giant Galapagos tortoise shell the kids can crawl into. I think there's a turtle in one of these too that they can I'll let you sit on that one. You might remember that we put the clownfish in a little bit of a prison sentence because we got new fishies. Today they're getting released for good behavior. We're gonna reintroduce them into our aquarium little ecosystem. Let's get this thing started. So I'm what do ready. we do? Just let them out. Oh my God, is this gonna be carnage? It shouldn't be. Shouldn't, but it, it could be. I talked to them a lot. They, they seem like they're redeemed. They've done a lot of work in prison. Reform, rehabilitation, yeah, we're really proud of them. Crazy what you can do in 24 hours. <laughs> All right, let's go guys. Let's see what happens. Here they go. They haven't even seen their new anemone yet. This will be the first time. Let's see if they go to it. They're by the goby. Nice, nice. They're, they're seeing their old buddy back there. They're checking well, out the rats. That's good. 
That's good. Yeah, they, there wasn't really any huge interest. They just said, hey, that's new. And now they're just hanging out with themselves doing their little mating dance. There's the Rass, Bob Rass. Obi Wan Kenobi's in his little cave. The Rass is kind of avoiding the clown, kind of running away from him a little bit. Oh, the clownfish do not seem bothered at all. That's awesome. And I made a little sand lagoon in there because you do really like to have sand. So that kind of stirred yeah. everything up. And so that's why the tank is a little bit cloudy. Just some maintenance work that Lee's been doing for this awesome tank that's going to get super cool one day. Now, is this little seaweed thing going to eventually? stick and grow yes it just got pulled out whenever we were doing all this stuff so I just have to put it back in but yeah it will sprout and kind of mm. spread yeah oh, the wow. thing about it is that you have to really maintain it but the nice thing is that it is an algae so it will suck up nutrients it can kind of help out with that can we feed these guys yeah absolutely yes. yeah the clowns are always the ones that are gonna get it I want to see the new guys oh there's Bob Rass he's been pretty good at eating too he ate yesterday really well Bob Rass is eating a little bit oh Gobi. Behind. Yep, Gobi Bryant. So it looks like everyone's eating nice and well, which is really cool to see. I can't wait to see this tank clear up. Future additions that will add in there and have Lee take care of. And one of the other things that everyone misses about Dad is problems like this. You know, he wouldn't be sleeping one bit. We got 30 reptile cages right here. He'd spend all night just thinking about, all right, how are we gonna organize this tank and where was it gonna go over there and this and that. You come to work and you have a plan of exactly what we're gonna do. All the questions are already answered. So if someone asks a question, nope, this is how we're gonna do it. I know it's crazy. And so it's like without that here, we all had to step up to figure it out, honestly, together. But it's like a big brain to fill. It's like, you know, it's like the shoes to fill. Well, no, it's a big brain to fill. Literally probably around 20, 20 to 30. Big tanks here with more coming that need to be organized. Thought needs to be devoted to how are we going to do this? Because it, it's a lot of work and it sucks not being able to have him just be like, this is how we're going to do it. But I promise you guys, there's no challenge too large for us. We're going to figure it out. It's going to take a little bit more work than usual speaking of figuring it out hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button it would mean a lot to me also hit that like button while you're down there have a wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you in the next one yeah.